guys, welcome back to Puget Sound Pythons. My name is Kendra, and we got Jeff behind the camera today. Uh, we are going to go ahead and cut clutch number six, probably the final clutch of 2020 um, for us, for, uh, ball pythons, of course. Um, so this was a Paso clown female bred to either a nuclear, nuclear enchi het clown male. So that's fire butter enchi het clown. Um, or the black pewter clown male. So we will see what we got today. Um, today is actually day 56 on them, and I believe all of them have pipped. Oh, all right. Well, right away. I don't know, Jeff, you can zoom in on that. We have a clown at least. <laughs> There's more than just a clown there, but we'll take a closer look here in a minute. So we got five good eggs. Um, so yeah, we're on day 56. Um, you can see kind of the slits there, the cuts that they've made by themselves. Even on this guy, I got a couple here. So we'll start with this one on the end. Um, I think this one was out earlier. Yeah, I think that's the first one that pipped. Yeah, probably. So be very careful here. I don't typically like using the razor blade, but I could not find my scissors earlier. Oh. oh yeah, he's about, well, almost all that yolk is absorbed by now. Oh yeah, he's moving. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh no. Gorgeous. Now I want to say this is probably, I don't know if this is Enchi. But we know that nuclear and she het clown male was definitely the sire for at least maybe four or five of these. All five? Wow, look at that. So this is actually my first clown clutch I've ever had. Um, I'm going to say that this is probably the butterfly clown. So, well, no, this might be Enchi. I don't know. I'll have to take a look once he crawls out of the egg. He's just about done, honestly. You can kind of tell because there's not a lot of amniotic fluid anymore in there. There's not much to really absorb. I don't know if his yolk is... Oh! Feisty. Feisty already! <laughs> so we'll put him back. Let him come out on his own. Hold that back up for him. Let's go with this one. You see this one already cut a couple times as well. It's always a good sign when they can cut their own eggs open. Let's see here. I don't think this one was the clown. Nope. But again, the fire, the sire to this was definitely that nuclear and she had. So guaranteed any, any babies that aren't Visual clowns will be 100% het because that mom is pastel clown. Uh, without seeing the head, I want to say this is at least pastel butter, maybe enchi. Doesn't look too clean, but we'll see. Without seeing that head, I can't. Maybe fire too with all that brightness. I don't know. I'll leave it alone. <laughs> Doesn't seem to really enjoy me right now. All right, we'll we'll sneak onto this this little one here. He's got its little snout out. Let's start at the edge here and work our way back. Uh, drop your comment down below um, for your favorite ball python that you currently have in your collection, or if you want in your collection in the future. That'd be kind of neat to know. Oh, this is definitely Enchi. Wow, wow, wow. That's pretty. Wow. You getting that? Look at that. That is definitely Enchi. Holy moly. That's amazing. Can't wait for this one to kind of pop its head out. So again, that amniotic fluid is just about done. I can't see the yolk sac in there in the middle, but I'd say he's about to ready to come out in the next couple of days. But we will let it come out in its own time. We'll go with this one on the end. 
So you can see there, oop, just started to tuck itself back in. Hard to really say what these guys are when they keep tucking their heads in and stuff. Oh wow. Look at that. Another clown. Yep, another clown, guys. Wow, look at that. That's pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. This one has, as you can see, has a little more of the amniotic fluid in there, so I'm going to let this one kind of absorb everything it needs to before I'm cutting any further. Um, this one will probably be out in the next couple days, and of course, as always, we will post pictures once these guys are out and about. They're cleaned up, and they're in their, uh, tub, waiting on their, sorry, little one, for their first shed, and we'll get them eaten. I don't know if we're really going to be letting go of any of these, to be honest. Um, maybe the non-visual, if anyone's interested, but... I don't know, it'll be kind of hard to tell until we really have everyone out of the egg. Let's see if I can get this open a little bit more. Oh man, they keep tucking their heads in. I don't want to cut this little one. That's the one reason I don't like these razor blades. I'm just not as confident as I'd like to be with them. Especially when it comes to this. So, yeah, definitely another clown. Clown something. Butterfire. Pastel, maybe. I would definitely, I mean, I don't want to say definitely, but I would. I'm confident in saying that this is also Enchi. Just look at how bold that stripe is on the back. Yeah. Beautiful. Alright, guys, well. We will post some pictures probably in the next few days on our Instagram at Puget Sound dot, or is it Puget dot Sound dot Pythons. <laughs> <laughs> I never remember what the freaking handle is on the Instagram anymore. Um, but yeah, we will post some pictures of these guys once they're out of their eggs in the next couple of days. I, I would give it, yeah, at the very, at the max, maybe three days. So keep an eye out on that. Um, if you guys have any questions for us, drop them in the comments section down below. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited about this. This is exciting. Take care, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.